Hi, it's Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you some Halloween treat bags that I made. And this is one of them. I actually made these treat bags using the Diamond Press um, treat bag die and stamp set. Um, these are very cute little treat bags. I've actually just stuffed this with some uh, crinkled paper for the time being, but added some ribbon and there are many dies and stamps that are included with this set. So I'll show you those and then we will put together a bag and then I'll show you some of the other bags that I made. So this Diamond Press um, collection comes with quite a few dies. Um, this is the actual treat bag die itself and you cut this out twice and it really makes a, a fun size treat bag. Of course, there's a bunch of embellishments, little circle that you can use as a moon or a cutout. Um, there is a, um, a fence, um, there's a trick or treat, fright night, there's an eek, there are bats, there is a spooky banner, and then there are also uh, dies like October 31st that it cuts out. There are ghosts. There's a black cat. Um, spider. Banner. Boo. Another ghost. Of course, there is a witch on a broom. And there are some pumpkins. So you get all of these dies with the collection to embellish your treat bags. Of course, you can use these on cards. You can use them in October dailies. You can use them in junk journals. You can use them on many different Halloween projects. And I just love the versatility there. In addition, you received quite a few stamps so eat, drink, and be scary, hocus pocus. Here's a beautiful couple of spider webs. I added these little jack-o'-lantern faces to the pumpkins that I die cut. Here's a nice spider, a moon, and then all of these on the back as well. So there's another pumpkin, trick or treat, boo, fright night, I put a spell on you, um, E, hocus pocus, trick or treat, happy Halloween bewitched. So really, I mean, I thought this was a great collection. So how does it go together? Well, what you do is you cut out um, two of the bag die. And then what I like to do is go ahead and start to score them. They are pre-scored, but just doing the folding helps to kind of get the bag in place. You can use your bone folder, but the score lines are pretty good to where you don't have to. Um, it is a, you know, it is a small size treat bag. So I just go ahead and pre-fold those to make it a little bit easier. And then I like to use some score tape. Of course, you could use any adhesive that you prefer um, for your projects. So once we have these folded, what I do is I go ahead and take my score tape and I, I love score tape. Why? Because you just have to tear it. I mean, you don't have to worry about getting out a scissor. Uh, it's very easy to work with and it's, you know, Although we like our liquid adhesives, they're sometimes a little bit messy. This is no mess, quick and easy, just peel off the tape. Sometimes it's a little tricky getting the end of it here. And then I take the other side of the box and I just line it up. Like that. And that's the way I've put the first part of the box together. So I have one side. Then, of course, you're going to add the other piece of score tape right here on this end.
and then just fold it around. Your last piece of score tape, I just add to the bottom of the box. I fold these two smaller flaps in and then fold that one down and add the final piece of score tape right under here. And you can see I'm just eyeballing what I'm ripping off. You can be precise and measure it, or like I said, you can use whatever adhesive you like. I just like score tape because it's not messy, it's quick, and I think that it holds very well. So I usually go in with my fingers, or you can take your bone folder, just press it down in the bottom to make sure that it's secure. There are some little folds here on the side if you want to sort of bend the box in a little bit more. And for the boxes that I made, I like to use double-sided paper so you can see a little color on the inside as well. And that's all it takes to put it together. So very quick and easy if you are going to be mass producing these. This is a great die for that. So um, you can see you can thread some ribbon through there or a little baker's twine. And it's just an adorable little um, Halloween treat bag. Or, you know, you can, there's nothing on this particular die that says that it has to be Halloween. You can make these for Christmas. You can make these for birthday favors. You can make these for um, bridal showers um, to give a little candy or a treat or uh, what have you. So that is the die. And now I'll show you some of the other boxes that I made. Here's one with that little witch and the jack-o'-lanterns on the fence. These were fun to decorate. And I just went through and used some paper in my stash and ribbon. So I've made these for some family and friends. Of course, I am going to stuff them with candy, but for um, just putting them together real quickly, I decided to just use some crinkle paper. I have a friend that likes to use these um, as like little decorations. Um, she sort of adds them up to her bookshelf and doesn't, um, you know, doesn't really use them to give out. She just makes, you know, little decorations for her house. Here's one that I actually stuffed with candy just so you can get an idea of um, how much candy you can fit into this size. So I've kind of filled this with, there's a little bag of Skittles and some Smarties and of course some Kit Kats. But you can see that you can get a fair amount of candy in one of these little treat bags. So I think that's fun too. So those are the treat bags that I made using the Diamond Press uh, die and stamp set. I hope you enjoyed taking a look. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.